So what's up guys, today you're going to learn how to render for free with Google Colab. This is great if you're on holidays and have a shitty laptop, you can just render on the cloud for free. Or if you have a shitty laptop in general, you can render for free in general. So great technology. Uh, I don't know how long this will be possible until when this will start costing money, but so far it's free. So let's stop wasting time and let's jump right into the video. So first we're going to create a Gmail account. Most of you probably already know how this works. So you can skip this Google create your Gmail account and just add some information. I'm just going to call myself. This is a render test at gmail.com. Deep meaning. I was actually surprised that this was free, but one minute, 37 seconds later so once finished we need a hot and thick profile picture so just google this is a render test take the first best image drag and drop it in and add that fresh profile picture for that extra professionality so now that we're professional we're going to google google collab so that's where we're actually going to render in so head over there create a new notebook which is basically a virtual pc somewhere on this planet earth and in this notebook, first, we're going to set the GPU to enabled and click this little tick. Just do it. Uh, I can't really explain why either. Next, we're going to copy and paste uh, some code of Roman, but also fast ass that helped me on this video. I'm really don't know much on why things work. I just know that they do work. So just follow along um, and do what I'm doing. Next, we're just going to paste this. This is basically just going to tell us what PC we got and what graphics card. And you can try this a few times until you get a better graphics card if you want a better one. Also here, this is a code by Roman. I don't know if you got it from somewhere or wrote it. Uh, I don't know. Um, and here you can add more Blender versions if these aren't enough. But I just thought this was a pretty cool code snippet for setting up Blender. So basically now we installed Blender. Next, we will um, connect it to our Google Drive. So just click this link and sell your soul to Google um, as usual and copy this code and uh, paste it here. Once it's pasted here, uh, it's gonna connect to our Google Drive. So it's mounted or mount, I guess. And next we're gonna connect it to the root of our main Google Drive folder. So it's content slash drive. So that's it. Next, we're going to create a default Blender scene. Um, of course, this is how I work in real time and how fast I usually work on client projects. All the videos you've seen so far were slowed down like by 10. So this is how I usually work in case you wondered. Um, so we're just going to save it out as monkey.blend and upload it to our Google Drive. If you don't know where it is, Google it, Google Drive, um, open it up and drag and drop that dot blend. So now copy and paste this snippet of code and it's basically just going to open up the blend and save a PNG image. Yeah, once it's done in your drive, there it is a finished render just like magic. Unbelievable. I was actually very impressed by this. I actually myself couldn't quite believe this actually worked and was completely free, but it actually works. So and uh, now you're probably wondering how to render a animation pretty similar, uh, just copy and paste what I pretty much copy and paste before. Uh, but here you can set the frame. So we're just going to render five frames as a test, um, and then press go uh, every code snippet, you have to press this play button. If you haven't noticed by now, um, we're going to wait about five times as long, ignore the messages by my friend asking about G classes. And once it's done, and blender quit, we're going to head over to Google Drive and voila, five rendered frames of animation. So unbelievable stuff. Great for if you're like on holidays and just have a shitty laptop, you can just render on the cloud for free. Beautiful. So that's it for today. Uh, I hope you didn't know about this yet. So you hopefully learned something new and that's it for today and see you um, yeah, next week as usual. Goodbye.